Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. Start. Looking good, start. Watching good, start. With their music breaking political boundaries, cutting across all religions and tribes, great artists like Felakuti and Bob Marley were bold and brave enough to speak out the injustice suffered by their immediate surroundings and indeed the black race as a whole. Fela's lyrics were a public condemnation of Nigeria's socio-economic reality as he focused on corruption, abuse of power, mental emancipation from colonialism and the need for Nigerians to stand up for their rights. While Bob Marley's achievements radiate outward through the river of his music into an ocean of politics, ethics, fashion, philosophy and religion. With music being the most exalted of the arts, it is now a tool to convey the voice of the people to higher ruling powers. Don't drop grass or your foot on your seat. Petro, you have to turn one minute, but one minute, but talk about one person waiting to come. I did the song in a in a humor way, but then I still hit on notes that people are going to question themselves and then question the government as well. With Ghana's economy set to be depreciated, artists like Aibe Edem, Sarko Diev, Manifest and indeed a growing number of musicians have artistically blended the voices of the people in their music. I thought it would be creative to say things about a country that are both negative and positive and bring it to light, still make it artistic and still make people jump to it but at the end of the day still appreciate the fact that we are proud as Ghanaians. And the so question now is whether people in power hear these songs and whether it influences any of their choices and decision making. If governments are to be honest, they will look at that, listen to it and then to try to, you know, amend some of the things that they have done or better still, even correct some of the challenges as they put it, that they have. Basically, it's a form of communication. And so it has some level of, I mean, influence on the society, on the government. So if the music is out there in the system, and that is what the people are hearing, and that particular music is influencing the people in the society, and you are a government, and if there's something you think you can do about it, whether positive or negative, why would you want to relegate it to the background? you obviously will have to do something about it. Musicians like Velakuti and Bob Marley never bought into words of critics. Same may be said about Ghanaian artists like Sakodi and Aibe Edem. Primarily, it seems to be the hope that people cling to in their songs. If so many in the most exploited countries of the world can look to artists like Velakuti and Bob Marley's words as a call to action, then it shows that hope is more than just a dream. It's during moments like these the music becomes more than mere sounds, and its true power comes to life. ACG go take out your light. Now they come unless you will, you not get right. Ah, you go pay for your song to get played, and if it gets played, you know go get paid in Ghana.